we actually have a date. We get to get going again and have baseball. Uh, what were your emotions when you, you finally heard, you know, hey, it's it's time to go back? Uh, yeah, my I, I just, my heart started fluttering a little bit. I think that I, I felt like a little kid, you know, that uh, was getting out of timeout almost. <laughs> I, I, I get a roam around. <laughs> Uh, I could actually do what I, I was meant to do, and uh, I actually feel important again. I feel like uh, it's been Groundhog Day over here every day. It's just been the same thing over and over and over again. So to get back to Baltimore, it's going to be exciting, and I think everybody's going to feel that way. Now, one of the cool things is, you know, none of us have really gotten to be home. I mean, you're, you're talking probably a decade, especially when you look at the summer months, but you actually got to spend your birthday at home with your family, I mean, and even your brother, and he should have been in baseball as well right now. What was that like? It honestly, it just seems like such a blessing. The 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 things we got to experience while we were here. My birthday, um, we had our gender reveal Saturday of our of our baby. It's a baby boy, and then I got to spend Father's Day with my dad, and I kind of Father's Day for me, I guess. But uh, it just been a blessing to be able to spend these holidays that we wouldn't normally spend together at home it's it, it's been super super nice but it's almost like right after father's day it's like all right we found out that we're playing and here we go back to work it's like you know it, it, it's it, it's been perfect i've been golfing a lot and uh that's been a struggle i'm not a golfer I'm not <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get very frustrated. Golf is a very frustrating sport for me. And uh, when I'm not good at something, I start to lose it a little bit. But um, it's, uh, it's, it's tested me in, a, I think, ways that help me on the field. Every time I've talked about wanting to learn golf just because it's so heavy in baseball, people are like, no, you don't. Like, you'll, you'll hate yourself for it. So I'm glad somebody else has finally copped up to that. Yeah, it's horrible. I'm missing two clubs out of my bag right now. Um, one, one's in Sarasota Pond and uh, the other one's in half. So that, that's, that's kind of where my, my clubs are at and that's how my golf game goes. So we were discussing a minute ago, and I just, I loved watching this video, Caroline, and your emotion, but you, a rainbow baby and, and a boy <laughs> at that. And, and just to know, you know, you're getting to carry on a, a legacy. Mm -hmm. What has this been like for you guys? Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of people, even my family didn't know what a rainbow baby was, and they were all so confused. And I <laughs> was kind of over the last year. Um, and it's obviously your baby following a miscarriage. And so we found out we were pregnant in training and it was a total shock. Um, we were so excited. And the week we got sent home from spring, I unfortunately miscarried. And so it was really difficult. And um, John always jokes, like, as a former athlete, I'm hyper aware of my body. And I knew something was happening. And um, then two days before his birthday, we found out we were pregnant and I was just stunned because I was thinking, oh, this is going to take, you know, forever. It's not going to happen until way later. That's okay. And so I was so shocked and I kept calling it a he. And John was like, it could be a girl. You have to know that. <laughs> I well, thought it was. I thought it was a girl. My joke, my pretty much forever has been, I played with hundreds of different girls. I coached hundreds of different girls. God would not do me like that. He is going to give me a boy. I deserve this boy. And my mom kind of finally said, like, Caroline, it could be a girl, and you need to kind of accept that. So I did. I was, like, looking at girl stuff, and everyone kept telling me, your registry is all boy stuff. So I was not adding it, but I was looking at it. And um, they actually went to pull the confetti or the smoke poppers and realized you had to light it. And they all turned them over and the bottom of them were, was pink. And I was like, oh. and so we turned around and they lit it. And when we turned back around and it was blue, I just lost it. I was sobbing. It was, everybody was laughing at me. I was, I was so excited because what I had told his dad was, you know, I just, it, it brings me so much joy and excitement to think about having a little buddy at the ballpark, watching his dad and, Watching all these other moms do that with their little guys and girls is just so special. I mean, what so only so few kids get to say that they got to watch their parents truly live their dreams. And so I'm just 
so excited for that. Each of you are bringing such a unique aspect to not only being a couple in a sport that requires a lot of you to, to hang in there, but finding a way to give back to the community and make a change and really present yourself as the home team behind the home team. And for you, uh, helping Trey Mancini out and, and coming up with the fight with the 16 hidden inside of it. Uh, really, where did that come about and originate? Yeah. Um, well, Trey is just one of the most amazing people I've ever met. And we haven't been on the team, you know, for very long. We've been with the Orioles, but we've been, John's been in the minor league. And so I don't know Trey as well as other people do, but it's constant positivity. Everybody speaks about him in the highest regard. And we had a couple mutual friends um, from Notre Dame since he played baseball there, obviously. And I played soccer at USC and we're rivals. Um, and, I, you know, we didn't know what was going on. We knew that the guys had had a meeting and it, it seemed to be somber, but they kept it within their team because that that's their family first is their teammates. And so when it became public, we all kind of, that's when we found out and um, we were devastated for them and also just filled with positivity for just the person he is knowing that he was going to have so much support and he was going to fight. And that word just kind of came to my head and it's kind of such a small, silly way to show support. But um, I tweeted it out, not really thinking too much about it. And I'm really happy that fans are getting on board and seeing that players are not just players, but they're people and they have struggles as well. And everybody has different kinds of struggles, but I'm just really, really happy that people are showing Trey the love and support that he deserves. I mean, even through this going and helping Mo and honoring him at his graduation parade. I mean, you can't ask for a better role model and leader and not to mention he is a total badass on the field. So it's just like, you know, he's going to win this fight off the field, and then we can't wait to watch him continue on and get back there. And fans, for those of you who might have seen the Trey Mancini shirts, you can pick those up for yourself. It's at orioles.com slash auctions. They're $25, and they go to benefit the Colon uh, Cancer Rectal Society. So a really, really big opportunity here to give back and to support, like you said, I mean, just one of your favorite guys. 2020, the key word for the Orioles was development. So uh, you know, having the position that you do and having a shortened season, what's your what's your big focus now that you know the picture that you're looking at? Um, well, now that it's, it's 60 games, you can kind of leave it all out there. And that's what I, I mean, I tell guys to do anyway, especially guys coming up uh, that are trying to develop. This is the perfect season to do it. I mean, just leave it all out there. It's only 60 games. You don't have to worry about, you know, doing it for an extended, extended period of time. Just leave it all out on the field. Just leave everything you have and be able to walk off um, proud. 